about an hour into hiking and looks like I'm on the, in the valley and just been on this dirt road and uh, it's kind of up and downs and then now once I get down to the valley it's just been flat um, I just crossed Bear Creek which is dry which I kind of expected but the last there was a comment saying that there's possibly water a half mile downstream so we'll see if that's true I'll be shocked if there is any water but <clears throat> I probably have close to a half a liter oh I can see some water down there so that's a good sign it's the first water I've seen on trail I'm on day eight well an actual source not water cash or water tanks hey, there's some big puddles down there be nice to find something flowing I'm finally back on an actual hiking trail uh, the intersection to get to here was very confusing and if I didn't have gut hooks it would have been near impossible to find so thank you gut hooks so, I imagine it'll be like this the rest of the day or something similar. But, okay. Someone had made this little register sign. Um, nice CD2 um, marker. You know, technically we're not on the CD2. It's Karen's to follow. So I just passed a hiker not too long ago. He's one of the guys that was at the um, hostel. He left yesterday late morning. And he's kind of an older guy, so he's going kind of slow. But he looks a lot younger than what he is. So. So I'll take a little bit of a break here in the next hour or so. Alright, we're going through a burn section. Um, sometimes the trail has been hard to follow going uphill. Um, sometimes the carriages are so low you can't see them. And so as the tra trail turns you don't realize it. But I've never gotten so far off. Because I'm in Obiel, which I think is on trail. You can see lots of footprints, it turns out I'm off. So I know if I don't see a Karen for a while, then I'm off. And then it's easy to get back on using the gut hooks. Well, I've got probably about another hour and a half before I take a long break. <clears throat> Weather's pretty cool and I've had shade most of the day. Um, we got 57 crossings between here and Doc Campbell's, and this is number three. Some slippery rocks. I went, which I thought was the correct way, because the only way it looked like to go, and I just kept falling Karens. And all of a sudden, they kind of stopped, and I looking down, I see no other footprints, and kind of start to have a mini panic attack. Cause there's no one near me and I 
and I check my um, app and yeah, now I'm lost again. Well, kinda. Well, I know I can't get really lost because I'm falling in this canyon all the way. So I just might not be on the most efficient way. But anyways, I check my um, app to see um, where I'm at and I'm way off. I'm on some other uh, river. Uh, I shoot off of the Gila, of the Gila. So um, I start backtracking and it gets kind of confusing just because I'm just so flustered and um, finally run into some other people and they had followed me, which probably wasn't a smart thing. But I finally get back to where uh, I got down to the river and got pointed in the right direction by someone else. All right. And then we get back on the trail and they were kind of getting slow, so I kind of took off. All right. 